Hello friends, my name is Kay and welcome slash welcome back to your live feed update. So we have just ended day 16 in the Big Brother house and it has been crazy. By far the most entertaining day of the season so far. We got a fight y'all, like we actually got a celebrity fight. Not a physical fight, but a verbal fight. I'm willing to bet anything that they're not going to show this fight on the show, so stay tuned. If you are not already, make sure you hit the subscribe button below so you can stay updated on the Big Brother live feeds this season. Now, let's begin. So if you are not caught up, yesterday, Shayna won the veto and she was planning on using it to take Carson down and hopefully manipulate Misha into putting up Todd as a replacement where everybody would blindside Misha and vote out Todd instead of Carson or Cynthia. So the first thing in the morning, we see Shayna and Misha have a conversation about the veto where Shayna is swearing up and down that she's gonna be pulling Cynthia off the block, which we all know is a lie because she is planning on pulling off Carson. Now, I don't know why Shayna is so sure that Todd will be going up as the replacement nominee. I'm guessing maybe Shayna thinks that when she pulls Carson off the block at the ceremony, you know, Misha will be so blindsided by this that she won't be able to think clearly and she'll put Todd up as a replacement. I don't really know what Shayna's thinking, but in this conversation, we see her lying to Misha about taking Cynthia off the block. Later on, we're gonna see Shayna and Todrick have a bit of a heated discussion. Shayna is swearing up and down that she has zero allies and zero friends in the house, but Todrick kinda knows that this is BS and he knows that she has Chris in her corner. So in general, there's just a lot of game talk in the morning, mostly about the veto ceremony and different scenarios as to what might happen there. When the feeds come back after the veto ceremony, it is revealed that Shayna did indeed take Carson off the block but Misha has put up Chris Kirkpatrick as the replacement nominee. And this is when all hell breaks loose in the house. So understandably, Misha and Tajik are pissed. They confront Shayna about all of her lying and they're like, the line is drawn, Shayna, we're done working with you, it's over. Shayna is freaking out because now her closest ally, Chris, is on the block. She really wasn't expecting that to happen. Like she was super sure that Todd would be the one going up. Chris Kirkpatrick has kind of gone off the deep end. He's super duper happy and excited saying, we won, we won. I think he's happy because his side won, meaning Carson and Cynthia and Shayna even though Carson and Cynthia don't really mess with Christopher Patrick like that and for whatever reason Lamar seems kind of upset at Todd for avoiding the block. He's kind of getting on Todd's nerves on purpose saying that he has no balls and no backbone. Well, tell me your team then. Oh, that's interesting. You want to tell me in the, in the, in the oh, You team Lamar, right? You, 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 you team Lamar, right? Go to, tell you me the team Lamar, I'm, I'm team Todd. Huh? You team Lamar, I'm team Todd. Uh, matter of fact, come on. Tell me. No, you say you don't want to talk to me for 72 hours. I'm going to bring my shank, too. You <laughs> what? Tell me who, you see it. Oh, you better get that back. Tell me who on Team Todd so I know. Let me tell you, you ain't never had to use that. I have, so there you Man, go. listen, you ain't never stabbed nobody. You want to go over the internet and read it? You ain't never stabbed nobody. Well, he tried to stab me first, though. So That's the worst kind of assault, because you got to have back balls. Oh, I do. Trust you feel me. what I'm saying? You got to oh, have balls and a back oh, I, to stab oh, I, somebody. I do. You feel what I mean? I do. You ain't even carry no knife. You can tell that this is getting on Todd's nerves, which is really important because of what happens next. So unfortunately, the feeds were not in the room when this goes off. So the audience, we didn't get to see everything that went down. But based on what the house guests said in the aftermath, this is what happened. So first of all, Todd is already super annoyed and kind of upset because Lamar was getting on his nerves, right? So then Cynthia asked Todd about his vote since she's still on the block. And I guess Todd had told Cynthia that he was going to evict her because Cynthia voted to evict him during week one with Teddy. And so this pisses Cynthia off and she gets really upset and I think makes a comment about Todd's food, which causes both of them to just blow up and they just started arguing. And during during this time, Lamar is instigating the incident and, you know, trying to hype them both up and kind of making it worse. So we don't see any of this argument, but we do see the tail end of it where Cynthia and Todd are screaming at each other and they're just screaming F you, F you, F you. I'll insert a clip, but fair warning, these people do a lot of cussing. What's happening? Are they fighting? Oh, dang, I was like, let's go. Sounds fun. Who's that? She wants to start that gangster shit. She don't know who the fuck she fucking with. Who's that? 
Eventually, Carson steps up to defend Cynthia, which makes Todd even more mad. Man, got the whole house in the uproar. Ah, oh, man, she the one came after me. I was sitting there minding my own fucking business. She didn't come after you. But she kept coming forward, saying she shit. She asked you, do you have a problem with her? And I don't. But then you got up and came towards her. She came, she, I was sitting down, she kept coming at me. Oh, yeah, she went out, she went after me. I know, but that's bullshit, It's man. never appropriate to come up and like get in a woman's I wasn't face. going to do anything to her. I was just giving her the fuck you. I'm just saying from her perspective, that felt threatening maybe, so. I, I, I wasn't going to do anything. She I'm doesn't making know my that. Point. She fuck doesn't you, know that. Fuck you, that's all I'm saying. And then unfortunately the feeds cut off so we can't see what happens and we can't see the end of the fight and the feeds end up being off for like over an hour after that so at this point I'm nervous that Todd has been like removed from the game I was scared that like maybe he hit Carson or something and he was out of there but when the feeds came back an hour later Todd was still in the house and everybody had seemed to calm down so yeah there was a lot going on yesterday as of right now I think the consensus is that Chris Kirkpatrick will be the one to be evicted I think Shayna is the only one that's still wants to keep Chris in the game. Everybody else is pretty much done with him. It really sucks for Shayna because she used the veto as a power move to try to weaken the other side but it actually ended up weakening her side the most. Damn! Even right now Todd is down to vote out Chris Kirkpatrick instead of Cynthia but of course that could all change. So who do you all think should be going home? Cynthia or Chris Kirkpatrick? Let me know in the comments below. Also what did y'all think of this fight? I really wouldn't be surprised if they didn't show any of it on the show because sometimes CBS is pussy like that. But we shall see. Right now, I think Lamar is in a fantastic spot in the house, but I don't think he realizes that. I'm pretty sure Lamar is the only person whose name really has not been brought up to be put on the block, which is always where you want to be in Big Brother. I'm really excited to see what happens next, and I'll talk to y'all later. Bye.